In order to clear the ninth herbalist challenge, you are asked to find and pick all 43 herbs and plants in the entire game. Now, I still have a Herbalist Challenges video on the way, but this challenge in particular takes so long and is so intricate that I figured I'd spin it out into its own video. So today, we are going to point out the location of each and every herb in this entire game. In this video, I'll be giving you three pieces of info on each location. You'll see an in-game shot of the location and me collecting the plant. I'll show you the location on the map, and then I'll have the mini-map open as well so you can position yourself perfectly to find that plant. We are going to begin with the special orchids in the game since so many of them are in the same area, the swamp in the southeast portion of the map. Now, these guys are real bastards compared to the regular plants in the game because so many are actually attached to trees and they're also very difficult to see because they're so small. You really need to have a keen eye to find these, so we might as well crank them all out in one shot. We're gonna begin here at the bottom of the map and work our way up. First is the Night Scented Orchid, all the way south at the bottom of the map right here. And I'm warning you right now, this thing is basically invisible. It is ridiculously small, probably the smallest one of all. So keep a close eye, refer to the map here, and eventually you should find it. Next up, we head all the way to the southeast edge of the map to find the Clamshell Orchid. Heading a bit north from there, we could find the Ghost Orchid. Now we're going to go north of St. Denis to the bayou to find the next group of orchids. First is the Akuna Star Orchid, which is located on the far right of the map right here. We make our way west to find the Cigar Orchid. And then right below the W here on the map, we find the Rat Tail Orchid, which is super, super small, so look closely at the map here. Next up, we find the Queen's Orchid nearby, and this one is actually located on the ground. We make our way west to the Bee and Bayou to find the Lady of the Night. A bit further west, we find a Vanilla Flower, and then a couple of trees over, we see the Spider Orchid. Alright, now for the final couple of orchids here, we could finally leave the swamp and head north to New Hanover. Here is a yellow moccasin flower orchid, which is found on the ground beside the R in New Hanover. Head northwest to this area on the map to find the dragon's mouth orchid right here. Then the sparrow's egg orchid can be found under the E in Annisburg. Finally, to find the last of the orchids, we have to travel all the way to the other side of the map, west of Strawberry to the Big Valley. Right here above the B, we can find the Lady Slipper Orchid. So that's every orchid, but we've still got a lot more to go. Right beside the Lady Slipper, at least, you could find a Blackberry, and a Hummingbird Sage, as well as an oregano. Next, we're going to visit a few areas in the game that each contain a bunch of herbs all very close to each other. This is the easiest way to find them all in my opinion. So let's start from Valentine, and then we're just gonna go south on this magical road here marked in red. We could find damn near everything on this road. It's ridiculously awesome. So just heading south here, we find a Raspberry and Yarrow. Just beside the E in New Hanover is Indian Tobacco, as well as a Parasol Mushroom and a Wild Carrot. A little further south is some American ginseng, and really close to that we could find some creeping thyme. Now the next area we need to go to is Lemoyne to find four more plants. 
Milkweed can be found right here, just to the southwest of the L in Lemoyne. Then head east to Ringneck Creek to find Chanterelles. A bit down Ringneck Creek near Kamasa River, we can also find some common bulrush. Head north alongside the Kamasa to find some wild mint. Keep on heading north to the O in Lemoyne to find an evergreen huckleberry. Then continue north up the river until you reach this point where you'll be able to find some golden currant. The next area we'll tackle is all the way at the top right of the map here in the legendary mooses area. You'll find a violet snowdrop right here. Then basically beside the violet you'll find the ram's head mushroom. Head a bit east from there to find the Alaskan ginseng. Then go a little further east to find the wintergreen berry. And that's all for this area. Next, we need to head down to the Dakota River near Valentine to find a couple more. Near the river, we'll find the burdock root right here. And then just above the road here, we'll find a Bay Bullet Mushroom. We then head south to Blackwater to find the Prairie Poppy hanging out right here. The final five plants can all be found in the new Austin area, so ride over to Armadillo and we could find the Wild Feverfew just a bit to the north here off the road. Head south to Fort Mercer and you'll come across the Red Sage. A little further south from there and we'll find the English Mace. Now to close things out, we head northwest to Gaptooth Ridge, and right here we could find Desert Sage. And then finally, just a bit north from there, we find Black Currant right near the R in Gaptooth Ridge. And there you have it. That's all 43 plants in Red Dead Redemption 2, all collected. If you like this video and want to see more daily Red Dead Redemption 2 guides, secrets, easter eggs, and more, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I'll have that Herbalist Challenges guide up very soon now that we have Challenge 9 out of the way, which is by far the hardest and longest challenge of this set. And we could finally get another step closer to that elusive Legend of the East outfit. Thanks so much for watching everyone, and take care.